All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's how I'm going to make a box plot quickly using Google Sheets. So once you click on this template, it's going to open up something that looks a little bit like this. You're going to insert your data uh, in whatever measurement you used. So in this example data, we're using meters. And we're going to let Google Sheets be the calculator for us and calculate this data. The first thing we need to do is it's going to sort through and look for the minimum number, the smallest number in that data. So to use formulas in Google Sheets or Excel, you hit the equal sign, and when you do that, it causes um, kind of Google Sheets to go in calculator mode. So I'm going to do is click on equals and then hit MIN. So this is looking for the minimum value. I'm going to do a parentheses, and let me zoom in just a little bit more so we can see this just a hair bit better. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to hit equals MIN, and then I'm just going to highlight all of this data. Close my brackets, and there we go. So if we had like 100 data points, this would just find it really quickly. Now to find that lower quartile um, or that bottom, um, that middle range from 25% to 50% of our data, we're going to type in quart quartile. And then I'm going to do parentheses again. I'm going to highlight my data, but we're not quite done yet. So don't hit enter on the keyboard. We're going to hit parentheses and then the number one. If you're interested on what this means exactly, if you go in, uh, you can learn more about the information. So if this doesn't pop up, there should be a little question mark right here. I'm going to see if I click X out. Oh, this little question mark right here lets you see what that function does. And if you want to learn more about those different numbers, you can find out uh, using that little help ticket. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then we're also going to find our upper quartile. So we're going to type in quartile again. And I'm going to do uh, parentheses, highlight all of my data, comma, and then type in the number three for that upper quartile. All right, and the last one is going to be max. So we're just going to type in max and then parentheses, highlight my data, and here we go. So now we've got all of our data for us, and we just made Google Sheets be the calculator. So what I'm going to do now is highlight from launch data all the way over to max. And uh, now I'm going to click on insert chart. By doing this, Google Sheets um, already makes a, a graph for us, but we want to change what this graph looks like. So when this graph pops up, I'm going to zoom out just a hair. When this graph pops up, um, if we double click on it, it allows us to go to the settings, that chart editor. We're going to change the chart type under the setup tab to be, if we click on that and scroll down, you can find, it's called a candlestick chart uh, in Google Sheets, but it's a box plot. And there we go. Now, if you've done anything with graphing, we are missing some important things. So I'm going to click on the customize tab, click on chart and insert the title. So this is going to be box plot of launch data and then there we go now I'm also going to insert my name so I'm gonna do a Williams so first initial last name and then we're also going to do a vertical axis title so this is going to be launch distance and I recorded this in meters and there we go and then we are done, so I'm going to click out of there. Now I'm going to take this uh, graph, actually, uh, this box plot, and I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit because it's a little bit too big for our, our doc right now. So I'm going to uh, double click on these little three dots and copy the chart. So go, bang, go back over here in our template for our answers for inserting a box plot. We're going to delete that text, and then we're going to paste now, as you paste something from one Google Doc to another, you could do what's called a live link or a dead link. And so a live link means if I go back and change that graph, it'll automatically change in the Google Doc. For this, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit click paste unlinked. Now this comes up way too big, so I'm just gonna click on it and size it down to a little more appropriate. And there we go. We've had our brainstorming picture. I'll go ahead and put that back in there. So my brainstorming picture image from camera. Oh, my camera won't work right now because I'm using it to record. So um, we're just going to say this is an image here. Got my data points. And then for this, answer the final questions and you're good to go.
All right, guys, that'll be it for this. Take care.